let's talk for a minute about what you can do with these results. We've got five results here. I would like to show you some things about results in general. So let's look at this number two. It has HTML full text and PDF full text. If you select HTML full text, you'll see that this will be the entire text of this article. It's all there. Up at the top, the superpower of HTML full text is that you can listen to it. So if you're someone who has trouble reading along or if you want to listen to it while you do something else, that is an option for you. Down this right hand side, you've got tools. You can save this item to Google Drive. You can print it. You can email it to yourself or to someone else. A word about email. Some people will come up into this address bar and copy this address and paste it into an email and send it to themselves or to their teacher. That will not work because this in the address bar is tied to this session. You want to get the permalink from the email address. You can save it to a disk or to a thumb drive or to the computer. You can export it, create notes, you can see the permalink. The other wonderful thing here is site. So if you click on site, it's going to bring up a frame. And in that frame, it shows you citation formats and you can scroll down. You're in biology, so you're going to want the APA. And then you can select this and copy it and paste it into your reference page for your paper that you're working on. Or if your instructor asks for a reference or how you got here, this is the information that you need now. There is something to be aware of here. These are 90% of the time, they're absolutely perfect. But we have some instructors who are here who would rather that you don't have the um, HTML part here or they want to know when you accessed it or whatever. And it is up to your instructor. If your instructor has given you in instructions on how to do your reference, you must listen to your instructors desires for how they want it set up. Now, if we go back to our results list, that same, that same article also has a PDF full text. So click on PDF full text. This is going to bring up a scan of the actual article. This is exactly what this article looks like in a journal that you would pull off of the shelf. It's got a little QR code up there. If there were, were any charts or graphs or pictures, ah, see, it's got pictures in it. So here's this PDF version of this article. Again, on the right hand side, you can save it to Drive, you can print it, email it, put it in a folder. There's your citation tool again if you click on that. You can scroll down and see your citation is right there. And that is how you use and manipulate your search results in EBSCO.